right down there at the uh, Logroño Municipal Hostel. It was the information center. And uh, I think it's about, no, 6.15 or so. We got even like almost a whole hour before we have sunlight. But uh, the streets are empty. Look at that. Wow. But uh, I gotta find a bed for tonight. Um, seems that in the Jera everything might be filled up except for the municipal doesn't take reservations. So maybe I got a shot there. But I don't know, it's 18 miles away. I haven't done 18 miles yet. So we'll see what happens. I'm walking by the Peregrino statue here in Legrono. There's the tourism office right there. And uh, just uh, hiking through Legrono in the, in the dark. And uh, trying to figure out where to go. I made it this far. Not sure where uh, Earl is here. You, some other peregrinos were here and they kind of got ahead of me. I think I see him up that way. So this must be the way. To, oh, I see Earl here. So see, sometimes the cities are a little bit tricky. Still traveling through the streets of Legronia this morning. Uh, it's it's a nice city. It doesn't get uh, as much attention as Burgos and Leon and Pamplona. It's a really good sized city. It's got everything you need. Here we go. So, uh, and uh, it's got street lights, so I don't have to even use my headlamp this morning for a while. Went through a little park. Now we're going over a bridge over a railroad track. It's getting a little darker and darker. We're getting a little bit out of the uh, center of the city here into the neighborhoods. Nice Camino statue there, arrow. And we got watering the yard early in the morning. And uh, we're on this bike path. Here still in Legronio. Okay, we're going down here. Down a uh, little ramp that was bike trail. I was going this way. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe we're crossing this street here. Maybe we're going through another tunnel or something. Maybe this is a tunnel down here. And it looks like one. Let's see, we'll keep it rolling for a second. And see, see what we got. Yeah, it's got to be a tunnel. Looks like a tunnel to get us uh, across this highway right here. Um, and there's usually some either uh, painted walls either from you know, uh, graffiti or painted uh, artists. I don't know what all this is. Looks kind of like graffiti, a lot of it. And here's the tunnel right here. Okay, it looks like there was a park with uh, playground equipment there. And it looks like we're Coming into this uh, a park, the uh, 
Baranka Park. So I can't quite make heads or tails of where the Camino goes here. But we're gonna be going there like oh I can across the stand there's a lake here. And there sounds to be some sort of powerhouse down there. So maybe it does produce uh, electricity. I think up here some sort of park pavilion or something if I remember correctly from watching the videos. So uh, that's sort of do. Looks like some ducks over here and, and so on. There's the lake down there. Evidently this is the spot you used to be able to cook out. They got it all blocked up. Now I don't know if it's in disrepair or if it's just COVID. Here's the horse cock shelter. Uh, everything gets graffiti on it in Spain. Oh well, you can't walk your dog there either. Oh well, we got a building coming up. I don't know what's uh, for coming in this small town or what. I don't think it's Navarrete yet, but it might be something else. Looks like there may be a food stand coming up. It's music to my ears. I need something this morning. Ah, uh, there wasn't a breakfast place along the way in the Gronio, so maybe we'll see what they got. It's probably not breakfast, but you know, fruits and stuff like that. Hiking around the wine fields right there in that van. Looks to be a crew of people brought in from Africa to pick grapes. That's what it looks like it was to me. Okay, we're getting up here. We're getting excellent view of that lake and the Gronio behind it there. And the sun's out. And we're going up this hill here. Uh, I just decided to stop there. I don't know if I'm gonna get any other vistas quite like that coming up. So I decided to stop and take a photo, you know, take a, uh, do a video there. And we're just hiking along the vineyards here. Uh, I just seen two people hiking the Ign Ignatian uh, Camino, the Camino Ignaciano. They're from Spain, from Basque country. They didn't understand me the best. But uh, we're high above Lagronio now. Uh, so, uh, that's that. We'll see if the day that, that today is the day that breaks me. Or, if, you know, if I make it to Najira or where I go. But it's early, yeah. I'll just worry about uh, getting to Navarrete. This is getting a little rocky here. I don't think this is a bike path anymore. Here's the spot along the highway where a lot of people put crosses on the fence here over the years made out of twigs. Very inspirational. Uh, we got winery fields over here. And this just keeps going and going. The cross is on the uh, on the fence. It's something that's so uh, mundane as a fence they managed to make it spiritual. All right, we're almost to the top here. Let's see what we're getting into here. Oh. Uh. Let's see if we got a view. There's some sort of buildings 
Yeah, I see some, uh, I don't know, industrial buildings maybe, or, or retail or something down below there. So maybe, oh here, uh, we got a map, I'm not sure exactly where we're, or we must be right along in here, or it's near the highway. And then we're going to go down across another highway. Then we'll be in Navarrete. So that's good. I met the second set of people hiking the Camino Ignaciano. And they said the second day of the Camino Ignaciano is a bear. They says it's worse than going to Roncesvalles. So that gives, uh, makes me worried. They're just going to Lagronio today, so they're taking a short day. Maybe I should do that too. But, uh, hi. But yeah, they're doing the Ignatian Camino. St. Ignatius. That was cool. So, uh, which kind of goes in a different, opposite direction of the uh, Camino Francis and it coincides for like six miles. Not sure what's going on here. It looks like a big construction site. I don't know what they're building. Uh, but they've got bridges that look like they're for an interstate or something like that. But uh, we're up here high above Navarrete. Beautiful view here. I think we're going up a hill after this too, so we'll be able to see it from the other side. You can see pilgrims go, going down there, and then there's a footbridge down there. So we kind of have an idea of uh, where we're headed now. All right, we're coming over the four-lane highway. Um, I don't want to call them the interstate because there's no states over here, I don't think. I think they're all provinces or autonomous regions. Uh, there's Don Jacobo. I don't know if that's a winery. And then we got Navarrete in the background there. Lots of pilgrims. So, it's a little after nine now, so. I'm not sure uh, how, uh, you know, how well I'm gonna do here. It starts getting to Najera or not. So we just have to see. But here it looks to be the ruins of the, the Pilgrim's Hospital. Right here. This church appears to be open, which is great. I love how there's a bunch of people over there, Peregrinos. And over here is a food place, which I desperately need. Oh, I desperately need this. Oh, yay. Oh, bunch of pilgrims here. Okay. Okay. Full church here in Navarrete. Look at it. It's incredible. Beautiful church here, Navarrete, right there. Wow. I went and I pray, prayed for Krishnamit and his family, one of my uh, Eagle Scouts in my troop. And he died a few years back, 
Scouts are not supposed to die before their Scoutmaster. It was a sad event for me and for a lot of people. So, uh, seeing some people back there I knew, the Carlos gang. Carlos is here. And then, uh, with his two friends. And then we had uh, Valerie and Wynn came in at the end. I think he's north of San Francisco. Valerie's from Italy. Carlos is south of El Paso, but he likes the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is good. Um, other than that, like I said, just a beautiful church there. And this is the spot where Ignatius came to collect some money that the Duke of Navarra owed him uh, on his trip to Rome uh, in 1522, 500 years ago. Uh, after Ignatius had recovered from his uh, uh, glass of the cannonball that wrecked his leg, shattered his leg. He decided he's going to take on that journey to go to Rome, but he only made it to Manresa. So here we go. I'm looking for a spot to buy. Hola. Buen Camino. Thank you. Gracias. I'm looking for a spot to buy some candy bars, something like that. Alrighty. Okay, we're going down this road. We're about outside of Navarrete here. Uh, coming out and just uh, wondering what's going to happen next. I know we have to go up a hill. So uh, just uh, going to have to deal with that. But we're doing the road here first. Okay. For anyone who wants pot, this appears to be the place to get it over here. I got all sorts of pots. It's quite the uh, pot factory there. We're coming by a nice little church here. Doesn't look like it's open. Oh, we're getting off the road. All right, we're continuing towards Ventosa, but we got a whole lot of wine here. A whole lot of wineries, and we're happy we're not going over that hill. All right, I decided not to go into uh, Ventosa. It's an extra 1.7 kilometers. I want to hit straight for Najira. I don't have any food on me, hopefully. There'll be a food truck or something like that along the song stretch. But uh, I did have a big meal back there and never I did. Uh, and I do have a fair amount of water. It'd be nice if there was some more water someplace. But uh, this, uh, maybe I'll regret it, but that's an extra 1.7 kilometers. I, I just want to get to Najera. I took a little rest in that gazebo over there and now I'm on my way. I figured there's five more miles left, which could be around two hours or so. And uh, just checking. Well, we're heading this way up over this hill and we should be able to see Najira. Uh, some sort of shelter here. Get out of the sun. I don't have any uh, benches or anything in this, but there's graves and there's a seating over there. So we must be coming up on the tunnel here. Um, we got a bunch of stuff here. I'm, they do have it in English. 
looks like a fairly new stairway going up that way. But the Pilgrim's Trail is this way. And I'm thinking, well, I don't see a tunnel yet. I thought there was going to be a tunnel. The guitarist, I've seen videos of him playing guitar there. Uh, and how people were moved by his guitar play. I don't know what he was doing right then. But uh, he sells stuff too there. But no, like Ice Sword or something like that would be a big hit, I would think, right there. Some sort of display down here and a little rest area. Hi. And a uh, good view of the valley here. So uh, let's see what it says here. Little Trincy doesn't say where uh, the town that I want. I'm looking for Najira. It doesn't show it on here. Oh, here, here, here it is. Right there. So I don't know where exactly. There's a whole bunch of cities out here. I'm not sure exactly which one we're looking for. Maybe it's the one ahead, but it's a pana panda panoramic view here for sure. We're climbing up on the tunnel, and normally with any tunnel, there's graffiti like crazy here. Some of it's nice. I've seen a nice wine camino, seen a nice shell and all that stuff but here's the tunnel and that means there's about four miles left to Najira so that's the four mile tunnel now I gotta see there's a bench over there it's got an X on it and it seems to have an arrow going this way so I think that's what we're doing here it's going this way down here there's an arrow too so I think we're going the right way I think we're curving around this mountain here. Right there, there's a town down there. There's a town over there. I don't think that in either of those two are the Najera. I think uh, it's on the other side of that mountain right there. So we got a kind of, it looks fairly uh, easy. I see, I see a peregrino over that way. So it doesn't look the most, uh, we're not going to the top, is what I'm saying. It doesn't look as hard as some other ascents. We made her on this mountain here, or that hill, and we can see the town uh, right down below here. We got across the river, then it's around uh, less than two miles once we cross the river. But uh, that's it. Looks like we're coming up to Pilgrim's Hut here. Old Pilgrim's Hut. This is like three miles from Najira. I don't know why he'd have a Pilgrim's Hut so close to the city. But uh, we'll go take a look at it. Looks pretty good. In good condition. It's probably pretty good. I've seen a video of somebody who was camping out and they stayed in one of these. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Looks well about. And see what we got inside here. Oh, kind of a rock ledge you can scamp on. The little windows. That sort of thing. Looks good enough to stay in. Yeah, if you really needed to. 
All right, we're coming into the city. We have to, oh, there's the cement picnic table, uh, which they seem to have a lot. And uh, I guess they last forever, probably. Uh, maybe they have a limited supply of wood for such stuff. Let's see what this says over here. Uh, it's uh, something about Roland. Looks like they're loading up snow hay bales. Looks like they got a couple more down that way to load up. Looks like we are going down. We need to get across some rivers. So uh, we need to go down. Here's some beautiful mountains over here. Uh, here's maybe not so beautiful mountains. Oh well. We're coming into a more urban area now, but we still got at least two miles till we get to our uh, Alberga, I think. So, kind of an, going through an industrial area here. We got the arrow going this way. Looks to be a thing for bikes right there, a ramp for bikes. Ooh. I kind of feel it when I go down the stairs. And here's the bridge. After the bridge is supposed to be 1.8 km, wait, no, 3.2 kilometers, which is about 1.8 miles. Hi, ladies. Uh, so we're getting close. And now we got a rocky trail here. But you gotta watch your steps, but that's probably not gonna last very long. Oh well. We'll see what happens. We'll probably be back on a little Roman road type of deal or a little farm road type of deal. Yeah. Pretty soon. It looks like there's a park coming up too. Looks like we're up to this picnic area or rest area with some more of those gazebos that rested in earlier. But uh, what I was really looking for was a water fountain. I don't see anything like that around here. Nevertheless, there's a bunch of people here, including Carlos and his friends. Yeah, you just, you won't let me pass you. You had to get going. Uh, here comes Todd. He's gonna. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. He sprayed my face. Now I'm good to go. We got one, 1. 1.8 miles left. So uh, I, was, I was hoping for some water there, but no water. Crossing the highway here. Um, I'm gonna go fast to get across. This is, people don't slow down for you on these highways. Maybe on city streets they do. Anyway, there's the mountains over there. There's mountains over here. And we're coming down into the city here in Najera. We gotta hit a bridge crossing the river. And then I gotta take a left to the uh, municipal albergue coming into town here and I'm keeping my eyes wide open for a water fountain. I'd sure like to see one uh, soon. All right, I think this is the way I've been following other peregrinos. I haven't really been paying too much attention to the arrows. I just want to get a better for tonight and then we'll see what happens after that. I haven't seen a whole lot of arrows but I'm just following this guy, these people here. And I am, did see an uh, arrow about a block back there. But I checked my uh, Wise Pilgrim map. And, at one point and it seems like we're doing all right. 
consequence, we got to take some sort of right and go over bridge to the left. For opposite of that, I guess, take a left and go over bridge to the right. Something like that. I don't know, this looks pretty dicey. Is this really the pilgrims? see no arrows so uh, crossing the river here there's some cool hills right there and I think my albergue is down to the left here if I'm not mistaken so see down to the left um, and we'll see what happens here there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of markings for the albergue or for the albergues or for the Camino Municipal? Yeah, I'm following this guy. I think he's going to the municipal right there. He has some sort of thing he's following. 